first three weeks, you want to be able to bring it out pretty well. You your Secondary, Kareem has done really well. Armand. Um, Blythe's played well when he's been in there. You know, he just, he's played limited. Uh, Gump, Gump played outstanding last, last week. Like, I mean, he shut the guy down, did great. So uh, we've got a lot of really good individual performers. We've, uh, our biggest thing on defense has been just blown coverages. Um, and uh, we've given up 35 of the total points we've given up have been off just leaving somebody just blowing a coverage, which, you know, we're also facing, well, after this week, we would have faced the number one, number two offense in the country. So, uh, but the main, it's not really that as much as the tempo and then just, we're young, you know, and, and we've made some youthful mistakes, but uh, uh, linebacker obviously is great to get uh, um, uh, Salamo back, but DJ's, DJ's played his best football um, and, and he's had to play Sam and Will and played play both of them. Um, I've been really proud of Carlos. I mean, Carlos is, uh, 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 you know, really, you know, played hard and uh, done a great, you know, done a great job at a lot of things when he's in there. And I mean, he's got a lot of heart. His teammates really like him too. He's got a great spirit. Um, up front on the defensive line, I mean, you, you know, we, we got to get after the quarterback. When we do, we need to make the tackle. I think we were a little bit, you know, last week I was a little disappointed there. And then the biggest thing on defense we got to improve upon is we got to get takeaways and we got to tackle better. And so much of what we're doing it has a lot to do with just the fundamentals, tracking, taking the proper angle and those things. So, but defensively, uh, uh, you know, we've played well at times. Uh, the key is consistency. And, uh, you know, so, uh, and, and it's been different. You know, we've been different in what we've been doing. So, um, you know, I'd say on the whole defense, I mean, the most consistent player, if you had want me to pick one, which only for you I would do that, uh, is uh, I'd say Kareem Moore. In regards to Salamo with him being out, I would assume he didn't get a lot of first team looks on defense and practice. He's repped quite a bit. He, re he repped the entire camp and, and uh, all training camp. He was with the ones the whole time. Uh, and then, uh, um, he repped with the twos up until a week before the first game. And then uh, he's gone with the scout team the last two weeks. And so he's repped against the first offense. So I, I, I look, he's a veteran. So, you know, it'd be a little bit of a curve. I know one thing, it's been uh, it's nice having him back. I'm, I'm in a lot better mood. He's just such a, he's one of the smartest players. Uh, and he's just a guy that calms everything down. And, and our, our players really kind of look to him as the communicator. So much of college football, man, you, it, this fast tempo stuff, it's, it, it, it's tough. And so you got to have guys that can, can communicate, you know. So he's, he's, he and Lau and, and Armand are the communicators. So that's nice to have, have all three of them in the game. Talk about the need to uh, do a better job uh, pass rushing, especially for players. But at the same time, with having uh, facing quick release quarterback, that, uh, yeah, that's good. Down. That's that's good. That's a good point. The, uh, you know, the ball's out uh, in le in 1.5 to two seconds, um, and uh, so you can play off, or you can bump it up, and then you're going to have to defend the fade. So we've played off, and uh, you know we've given up some things underneath, and really the things we've given up vertical, uh, you know, have been busted coverages, you know, like we're in cover three and they throw a home run post. We don't have a middle of the field safety and stuff like that. It's things that shouldn't happen, but, you know, we're, we're learning and we're growing and we're, we're, we're a young team, a uh, young secondary and getting better. So, but we got to eliminate those things. And I think we've, I think we've made great progress. We'll see. We're going we're gonna to face one of the best in the country this week. One, our kids have character. I mean, they don't just fall apart when something happens, you know. Uh, they don't just blow with the wind, you know. Um, I, I, and which is, you know, you know, a lost trait. Um, I, I think that our guys have character. I think the one thing that I can say in the whole time I've been here, my guys ain't gonna give up and they're gonna respond. We've always responded. 
And uh, because we're, I think we're, what we're teaching, the values we're teaching in our program, I think it really res resonates with the kids. We got good kids. That's why they don't, you know, um, you know, we, we blew four coverages, but, and you say, how does that happen? Well, I can tell you it, it, that that ball, they're, they're moving that pace a hundred miles an hour. And that quarterback is, was, was special as the one this week's very good as well. But, um, um, how you do that is just what you're made of. You know, we talk to our guys about, you know, when you face adversity, that's when you find out what your true character is and what you're about. And and where I think we're in the fifth year. I mean, um, you know, I can think back over the four years, UCLA, USC last year, you have those three or four minute segments where it just, I mean, I mean, it just, you, you have bad things happen to you. And, um, uh, you you got to get up and you got to go on. That's what we're teaching guys. That, that's a life lesson. Yeah, uh, you know, no matter you, you got to get up off the ground. So that's kind of how we do that. And but we don't go into the game like we're going out there to stop them on every drive. We're going out there to score on every drive. We're going out there with very specific goals. And and so we play every snap. I guess we really work them conditioned to play every snap. And so. Um, you know, you just can't, you got to learn from the things that happen bad to you, but you got to be able to pick up and move on. So, and, and I think we've gotten better at that, you know. I mean, that's one thing that impressed me last week about our football team is that there was no panic, okay. And uh, uh, I was trying really hard to look like I wasn't panicking, but there was no panic. I was a little nervous, though, just a little bit. But you know what I mean. I just... You know, you're playing, you, you signed up to play with the big boys. This is a big boy league. There's a lot of scoring offenses in this league, the people we play. We chose to play Texas Tech and add to that. So, I mean, that's good. That's what we want to do. Uh, but all we're interested in is the end result and, and getting to the end result the right way and uh, doing it with the right people. And so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of how they respond. You obviously went to every game wanting to play well in the first and second quarter, but would you say that? You know, I, you know, people ask me about halftime adjustments all the time. I really think that's a really if you wait till halftime to adjust, it, you're going to be getting clobbered. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's when you see those things happen in a game where they score so many times. You turn the key. You know, uh, is we have to adjust each series, uh, and and really coming in at halftime, it's all about the players dialing in and getting refocused and understanding that, man, hey, it's how you finish. We've got to finish, you know, and, and we've trained our guys to do it that way. So uh, we, we make halftime adjustments, but it's usually something that just happened at the end of the second quarter, you know. Uh, you just can't. It's just not what you think. It's, it's just subtle. There's subtle things, you know, uh, that, uh, that you have to adjust and do. And, it, you know, college football is a personnel deal. It's about, it's about styles and personnel. And so I'm trying on offense to get, our, get the ball to our best guy on their less guy. And we're trying to make sure they don't get their best guy on our less guy. So, you know, that's kind of how it all works. And then trying to minimize risk. And, and then finding your identity of who you are. You know, it's really important, no matter good, bad, or indifferent, you, you have an identity. And so that's significant. All right. We good, Mark? Thank you.